Start your training for in-demand jobs today. The right job starts with the right training. And time now 543 all the way from New York City is a special Broadway show now coming to a stage near you. Lifestyle host and executive producer Danielle Banda is now live in the studio with us on details how you can catch this show. Good morning, Danielle. Good morning. Yeah, I'm so excited. The Book of Mormon is a nine-time Tony Award winning best musical and guess what? It is coming to us all here in the Rio Grande Valley. According to LiveInMcAllen.com, the New York Times actually regards it as the best musical of the century. And the site outlines that the Washington Post calls it the kind of evening that restores your faith in musicals. And uh, one of the nation's favorite comedians and talk show hosts, Jimmy Fallon, has also weighed in on this, this performance. You know, just calling it genius, brilliant, and phenomenal. Not one of those things, but he said all three. So it's a captivating story that follows two young uh, missionaries uh, as they're sent to Uganda on a special mission, of course, to convert citizens to their religion. And one of them being an enthusiastic, fearless character, and the other maybe just slightly more awkward and shy. <laughs> but they're eager, both of them, to help ease a society's impact on things like poverty and violence with different twists and turns that'll make it an overall successful mission, of course, with music. Straight from Broadway, you have the chance to catch this amazing show here in the Upper Valley. Now, it's all happening at the McAllen Performing Arts Center today, and you can get your tickets uh, to the show by visiting Ticketmaster.com. I'm so excited about this. I, I have to ask, which one of us here do you think is the biggest fan of musicals? <laughs> Chris, over well, here. Well, me. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. See, I was right. Clearly. <laughs> yeah, and I've been wanting to see that one. Oh. Book of Mormon, I have not seen it. Another one that I like is Wicked. That's an awesome one. Yes. too so musicals I'm a fan of and I want to go see you see you don't have to go all the way to New York City no it's true and I love that yeah here okay. in the valley continuing on that topic of talent I amazing know. that they're bringing that talent here to the valley to appreciate that mm-hmm so awesome. exciting are you gonna go of course yeah <laughs> I, I'm yeah I, I'm so excited about it awesome anything with music I'm down <laughs> Cool. Nice. All right. Well, the 80th annual Golden Globes honored the year's best in TV and film last night. This, this comes after more than a year of controversy. Mark Barger fills us in on some of the night's big winners. Mr. Spielberg, step right up here. We have the Fable Man. Steven Spielberg's cinematic look back at his childhood, The Fablemans, scored big at the Golden Globes, best director and best drama. I, I'm really, really happy about this. Also ringing up multiple wins. The Banshees of Inisherin! It captured Best Comedy or Musical, Best Screenplay, and Best Actor for Colin Farrell. Acting honors also went to Michelle Yeoh for Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. It's been an amazing journey. Kate Blanchett earned Best Actress in a Drama for Tar, while Austin Butler won Best Actor for Elvis. Oh man, all my words are leaving me. In the television categories, House of the Dragon. The Game of Thrones prequel picked up the win for best drama. Abbott Elementary. While the first year classroom sitcom won best comedy, along with acting kudos for Tyler James Williams and show creator Quinta Brunson. Best actor in a comedy went to the Bears, Jeremy Allen White. Woo, man. While the White Lotus took Best Limited Series and Supporting Actress for Jennifer Coolidge. Jennifer Coolidge is so funny, right? I love her in everything. Yes, and I know that she's much needed when in terms of her winning all these awards. So I think she's uh, so, uh, I think she's getting the proper recognition for sure. Danielle, what about the fashion? I saw a lot of sparkles there. So I my know. Type. Every time I think like, oh, I have a nice dress. I'm like, never mind. Look at that, Not the sparkles. <laughs> Don't we love it? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, anything with glitter. Of course. <laughs> I know you love it. <laughs> yeah, all the time, especially if it's in black. Of course. Definitely. I know she's from Abbott Elementary. She's definitely looking. Everybody, everybody looked phenomenal last There's, night. Yeah. And you know, they have this whole team that actually puts their look together. So I'm sure that this has been weeks in the planning and everybody mm -hmm. looked amazing. Did you guys see Selena Gomez? I did not. She's wearing no. like a, like kind of like you, Danielle, big, uh, you know, a dress with Stay velvet in, in the middle. Oh, it, wow. She looked beautiful. Look at there. There. Another, yeah, I'm another. just wondering if they had to suck it in. <laughs> If they had to eat a big lunch yeah, or maybe not. Good shapewear <laughs> is the trick to <laughs> looking good. Second or wrap it up or 
you know and some of them, i know some of them go on these extreme diets ahead of these shows yeah. so they can look carpet ready right but um i know one yeah. oh, day we'll be there Ortega. Wednesday. Oh. i love it we were just what do you think about her that dress i love it i love it where are the pigtails i think i would have preferred it in black though i was gonna oh. say Staying what do you character. think that it's not in black um, no, yes. it's a good look. It's good to change like it up sometimes, she looks, right? Yeah, gorgeous. Yes. And Jessica Chastain there. She's oh, she also looks, a great actress. Wow. Everybody was looking phenomenal. I don't, I did not, I don't see anything that I don't like in terms of the fashion. You know, I'm Austin. noticing that they're wearing the black or like the nudes. Oh, mm -hmm. they're a pop of color, red. Very nice. It's, that's yeah. also your yeah, color, Danielle, that, today. Nice. That looks comfortable, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that really does. Yeah. And look and at the, their poses. And you she's know? from the Game of Thrones. I forgot her name. <laughs> but of course, uh, Viola Angela. Davis. Angela Bassett. Oh. Oh, Angela, there? Okay. Yeah, Angela okay. Bassett. Yeah, you're those right. Arms, you're right. Whatever she wears, those arms those always arms look are amazing. <laughs> yeah, I feel like if I had the same dress, it just wouldn't look like that. Now that's my own. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> she always looks regal. Hey, that blue. Yeah. Royal blue. Oh, yeah. My gosh. Um, no, that right. looks beautiful. Wow. That, that does look beautiful. They all did great. And coming up on the Today Show, Hoda, Savannah, and the crew will bring you more coverage of the red carpet fashion. This is considered the official kickoff to award season. You can watch the analysis starting at 7 a.m. right after NBC 23. Chris, so what's going on and any fashionable moments in the weather? Well, it's going to be warm. So we're not going to be able to pull off all those long sleeves that they were all wearing here across the valley. But as far as those weather headlines, we are expecting those temperatures to remain rather warm and breezy. A cold front will be arriving tomorrow.